Hi, I'm Alex from America Designs and this is for me a very special and time limited video. It's now Monday and on Friday I'll be getting married. For years I've been making, designing and creating unique bow ties, 3D printing, wood, stuff like that. Really like it. But the dress code is casual chic with a bow tie and I don't have my own bow tie yet. So last year I designed one, I have a new machine in, it's awesome. So let's use that machine to make this unique bow tie. This is a so-called CNC milling machine. And what it does is it can uh, mill, remove material from a solid block. So we're gonna make my tie out of this solid block of aluminium. And if you're not uh, familiar with CNC machining, as it's called, you need to hold this in a certain way. So we're gonna make a fixture first, we're gonna bolt on the material for our bow tie then we're going to remove enough material until we are left with the finished result that we can hand finish. CNC machining is very reliant on positioning like this huge dial when I put it on zero that is where I know that now zero is and then we have to tell that to the controller the material is loaded I put in a drill as well and now we're going to drill four holes where we can later put this block of aluminium that's going to be our bow tie that we can put it on our fixture yeah that's where, about, where it should about be just drilled a bunch of holes and when I open the door this is now the fixture these are the holes we already drilled so I'm gonna make some threads in here and then I can bolt it down like this now that the materials in the machine it's actually maybe nice to show the design of the bow tie that we made uh, I think it's really elegant it has this nice open spacing um, and these are four little holes that I'm going to use to and so um, the loop around my neck. So now we're making fashion with a machine that costs as much as a station wagon, that weighs more than a station wagon, uh, and now it's ripping to aluminium. I've never run aluminium at this rate before, um, and I love it. I'm nervous, but I love it. So this is why I'm nervous. I only have one block left and the end mill which did the cutting came in too deep uh, was the offset wrong i did something on the previous operation stuff like that so what happens is it was too thin and started to chatter when it was removing more and more material yeah i only got one piece of aluminium left and uh well this ain't gonna work so have to start over it is what it is this definitely won't win a beauty contest with fixturing like this, but the holes are in and I can continue with my original fixture. Definitely worth the wait. It's now 10 p.m. so I'm past the curfew. Actually had to fill in some paperwork to even get legally home. Um, been at this for seven hours for just about time. But it will be epic. Here's the result that comes out of the mill. Now I have to remove everything, uh, do some more contouring, sanding, stuff like that. And not try to ruin in the machining finish. This 
is what I absolutely love with little projects like these. So yesterday we were working with a 2000 kilogram machine and we worked way into the night and now we're doing with this super simple very old sewing machine. I think it's from the 90s uh, and what I have is like these three little clips uh, which we can use and this is one of my earlier bow tie designs that I made. You have one fixed you have an eyelet to hook into and then you have like this uh, sliding uh, band to bring it up to tension. And you want a really, you know, uh, really firm band which is why you saw me double it over because then you have a lot of support and we are sporting an aluminium bow tie. So here's what we made. Here we can slide. If I do it around my neck, I can hook it in put it to length. Here we have the hook in end and here we have the CNC machined bow tie in all its glory. Here's actually some more close-up detail because yesterday we had like the tooling come in and do all these parallel lines and it looks so freaking cool. Uh, and then one in the middle, here the same on the edges, stuff like that. Like I said, freaking cool. The final step was to thread the bow tie to the band. I did this by hand with a needle and thread through the holes we drilled before. I was really happy with the end result and found it fitting to my outfit. I got a lot of positive reactions on my bow tie and it was really special to wear something that you made yourself on your big day. We had a lovely wedding day with perfect weather and we're really grateful. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more interesting and creative projects.